Hello my dear students, I hope you all are doing well. So today I am going to start the next topic that is efficiency of labor. So uh, we are doing that factors of production and in factors of production uh, we have already discussed everything about the land. Now we are in the part of that labor. So today our topic is efficiency. First topic is efficiency of efficiency of labor so what do you mean by efficiency of labor or workers so by efficiency of labor or worker means the productive capacity of an a worker okay it means the productive productive capacity of a, a worker that means how much time the worker is taking or how smoothly the worker is able to produce that particular product so we can represent this one efficiency of labor by a mathematical formula also e so e represents efficiency of worker now efficiency of worker is nothing but the total output produced total output produced by a worker worker divided by total total time taken okay so efficiency of labor means total output produced by a worker divided by total time taken suppose say one worker is there he is producing 80 80 units of 80 units of clothes clothes okay and the time taken time taken is how to say 8 hours 8 hours so if we divide this one 8 times 80 so what is the efficiency of labor here 10 means efficiency of labor is 10 so how much time the worker is taking to produce that much amount of output so this is the uh, way to calculate the efficiency of labor now let's take two example worker a and worker b now if worker a is taking suppose say 8 hours to complete 80 units of clothes means he is producing 80 units of clothes in 8 hours and another worker is there okay another worker is there he is producing only 70 70 or we can say that uh, 70 units of units of clothes in 8 hours so time taken by both the labor is same 8 hours 8 hours but labor one first worker is producing 80 units whereas second worker is producing only 70 units so when you are asked to compare the efficiency of worker which worker is more efficient a or b so we can see that within 8 hours worker a is producing 80 and worker b is producing only 70 so labor a is more efficient efficient than that of worker a bit so this is the concept of efficiency of a labor okay next topic we have factors affecting efficiency of labor so uh, there are various factors that affects the efficiency of labor so the first one we have education and training first point we have education and Training. So this education and training is one of the important factors to affect the efficiency of labor. So education is again divided into technical education and general education. So general education, okay, this education is divided into parts, okay, one is called general education and technical education.
technical education. So this general education, okay, this general education helps to make a worker more responsible, okay. This general education helps workers to become more more responsible and if the workers are more responsible more sincere then obviously the efficiency of workers will improve now second one we have technical education so technical education also helps to increase the efficiency of labor now if the workers are specialized okay it talks about specialization of jobs specialization of job means if the workers are uh, well educated if workers are more trained okay then he will specialize himself in a particular a job and once the worker is specialized in a particular job obviously his efficiency will improve okay so this we can say that education and training this education can be divided into parts general education and technical education this general education help us to become worker more responsible sincere and if the workers are more responsible sincere his efficiency will improve and the second part technical education so that technical education helps the workers to specialize in the particular job okay he will train himself in a particular job and once he is specialized obviously the efficiency of workers will increase so it talks about division of labor okay division of labor means if one worker is particularly specialized in one job he will be doing that particular job again and again if one other a worker is there, he is specialized in some other kind of work, he will focusing on that particular work only, so he can make himself more efficient. Okay, second factor that affects the efficiency of labor is experience. Okay, besides education, experience also play a vital role in determining the efficiency of labor. If the workers are more practically experienced then his efficiency will be more that's why we have seen that if you go for any jobs they will ask you about your experience previous experience if the workers are any worker it may be teacher it may be lawyer it may be engineer if someone is experienced okay if he has already gained some experience in that particular job he will be more efficient that's why they are always asked for your previous experience if any worker whether that worker is working in a factory or working in any educational institution wherever they are if they are experienced means he will be more efficient so here experience also matters okay experience also play a vital role in determining or affecting the efficiency of labor if workers are more efficient uh, sorry more experience practical experience if he has he will be more efficient now next factor okay next factor that affects the efficiency of labor is working condition working condition now working condition is also one of the important factor that affects the efficiency of labor now if the workers wherever they are working that are clean hygienic and if uh, all the facilities like safe drinking water bed to toilet facilities etc these all are easily available or if all these facilities are provided by that particular producing unit then the healthy working condition will be there and the workers will improve their efficiency we can take this uh, point in another way also working condition like suppose say different employees are there okay they are working there and if they have good healthy relation between each other that also helps to improve the efficiency of workers so this working condition can be uh, seen from the two point of view one it can be seen from hygienic okay how how much healthy that working environment is that and the another another one point we have how 
ओके हाउ मच हेल्दी द एनवायरमेंट एनवायरमेंट मींस वेदर द बेसिक फैसिलिटीज फॉर द वर्कर्स आर देयर और नो दैट इंक्लूड सेफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर हाइजीनिक वर्किंग एनवायरमेंट ओके एंड वी कैन सी दैट बेटर टॉयलेट फैसिलिटीज एंड द अदर रिक्वायरमेंट फैसिलिटीज एसेट्रा now the next factor that affects the efficiency of labor is level of wages okay wages means how much how much returns he is getting for providing his services when somebody is contributing his services in the production of any kind of goods or commodities how much returns he is getting for himself so <coughs> labor Labor's factor payment is called a wages. Okay, the factor payment of labor is called a wages. Now, if higher the wages, labor efficiency will be more. So this level of wages determine the efficiency of labor. If the a uh, wage rate is very high, it implies the labor are more efficient. Okay, and if the uh, wages are very high obviously the labor will improve its standard of living so higher wages will improve the standard of living and that standard of living will helps to improve its efficiency of work so here this wage rate and the efficiency of labor is directly proportional to each other if higher wages the workers will improve its standard of living and once the standard of living will improve obviously the efficiency of labor will improve okay next point we have duration of work so duration of work is also one of the important factor that affects the efficiency of labor now longer the working duration or if workers are asked to work for a longer hours what will happen the efficiency of labor will decrease he gets tired and if because of that tiredness his efficiency will degrade that's why the working hour has been reduced to 8 hours if you go to any organization if you work there the maximum time period that you have to work is 8 hours so that is the duration decided by the government so that labor will not get tired and it will not hamper his efficiency that's why if we want to improve the efficiency of workers continuously or if you want to uh, keep the uh, constant efficiency level uh, we should provide a limited working hour that's why it is decided 8 hours as a standard working hour for the uh, workers okay next point we have moral quality so here the efficiency of worker also depends on his moral values if he is dependable responsible honest and a dutiful his efficiency level will be high so this moral qualities or moral values how much he is dependable that worker is dependable how much he is responsible how much he is faithful towards his duty so all these factors affects the efficiency of labor if the labor are more responsible dependable okay uh, responsible if he is more sincere honest then his efficiency will be higher now next point we have employers employers and employees relation okay employers and employees relation so employers means the one who is hiring the workers and employees means the one who is providing his services employers means we can consider owner employees means a worker so if the relation between employers and employees are friendly okay sympathetic to each other then the efficiency of labor will improve but when there is a dispute when there is a misunderstanding or miscommunication between these employers and employees that will hamper the labors and the efficiency of labor will decrease